Hey everyone, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the importance of doing water changes as well as what the, nitro or what the nitrogen cycle is and why that's important to understand. So first let's start off with why it is important to understand what the nitrogen yeah what the nitrogen cycle is and why you should be using you know that knowledge to cycle at your tanks. So basically the nitrogen cycle in a quick short version is where your fish produced waste or you have decaying food that creates you know another waste that lets off ammonia. Now ammonia is poisonous to fish, which is why a lot of times when you see betta fish at stores um, and their cups are really dirty, the biggest concern there is them having ammonia poisoning from all of their waste and decaying food building up in the cup. So that ammonia, when you have a cycle going and when you start cycling your tank, that ammonia is then broken down into, or by a bacteria, into nitrites. Now, nitrites are also still toxic to fish, so you don't want to have ammonia or nitrites in your tank, which is why it is important to cycle, because when you get the bacteria built up into your filters, um, you don't generally have to worry about ammonia and nitrites. You then have to worry about the third step to the cycle, which is nitrates, which is what the nitrites are broken down into. Now, the nitrates are not as toxic to fish unless they are in... Um, high amounts so you can pretty much get around with you know letting those be in there for a little bit longer which is why you know it's okay and why your tank is fine as long as it's cycled now however you do want to get rid of the nitrates before they build up too high and too toxic amounts for fish so the way you do that is by doing water changes now there's a lot of debate on water changes. There are a lot of things that I've been told by pet stores when it comes to water changes that, to be quite completely honest, I'm not, don't necessarily believe is true. And I personally am gonna go with things that I have read on the internet um, with how I should take care of my tanks with water changes just due to the fact that pet stores can tend to be sometimes wrong, especially if you're going to chain pet stores like PetSmart or Petco. Um, basically, you're going to want to do a weekly water change. Now, some people say you only have to do it every two weeks. Some people say you only have to do it once a month. Personally, I prefer to do it every week. That way I know that everything is under control because sometimes, you know, things can get a little out of wax. And I change somewhere between 25 and 50% of the water on my beta tanks. And then on my goldfish tank, sometimes I change somewhere between like 50 and 70 percent of the water in the tanks. Now, there's a big debate also on how much water you should change. Um, from what I have learned, it's okay to change large, large amounts of water as long as the temperature and the pH and everything are kind of, you know, the same in the tanks when you put them back in. You don't want your water temperature to be off by too much when you go to put your fish in, and that's also why um, I tend to, if I'm doing large water changes, take my fish out of the tank so that I can place them, you know, and let them acclimate to whatever the water temperature is. If I can't get the water temperature perfect, if I'm getting it very close, I will sometimes leave them in the tanks when I do the water changes. The reason that you want to do a water change, not only to keep your nitrates down, but you know, it's also to get all of the nasty, you know, buildup of waste and decaying food out of your tanks. Now, I personally prefer to use a siphon or like water change siphon. This particular water siphon that you can't really see the whole thing, but this particular siphon is from PetSmart and it's for... I think up to 10, it's for like 1 to 10 gallon tanks, I believe. I do use it on all of my tanks, including my 20 gallon. It just takes a little longer to drain the water out of the 20 gallon. But basically, the siphon hose has this little tube thing on the end of it. Sorry if that was a little blurry. I forgot the way I set my camera up. But basically, your siphon hose has this little tube on it. And I don't know that you guys can see inside of it, but there is a little bit of like a 
plastic mesh type thing that if your fish get caught in it so that your fish don't get, you know, sucked up out of the tube if they're larger fish. Then you have this part of the tube right here that connects them together. And then you have a little pump that you use to help create the suction in this chamber of the tube so that your water will continually flow out. And then you have another tube that is generally quite a bit longer that you then place into whatever you are emptying your water into, whether that be into a bucket or generally a bucket. <laughs> And that is how you get the water out of the tank. Now, what you would do with this is you wouldn't just like sit it in the water to change the water. You want to use this tube to actually like get down into your gravel. And you will see as you're doing that, you will see the debris coming up, you know, through the tube and into this and into the water. So you will know that it's cleaning. Now, <clears throat> This one was, I want to say, $15 or $20. They do have water hose, water siphons that cost quite a bit more. I believe the one I looked at from Aquion, which is, I don't think is the brand. I think that one is a top fin brand because it's like, it was a PetSmart off brand. But Aquion sells a version of a very expensive siphon tube that's called a Python. They sell a version of it. Um, those are still pretty expensive. I think when I saw it on Amazon, the 25 foot one was $40 and the 50 foot one was 60 some dollars maybe. But the Python seemed to be a lot more expensive. However, I personally have never gotten to use those because I cannot connect them to my sink due to the kind of faucets that we have. So they don't, they don't screw onto the sinks right. Um, but those are good if you have a larger tank, say like a 20 gallon tank where you're going to be changing large, large amounts because you can hook it up to your sink and siphon everything from your tank directly into the sink and down the drain rather than having to carry buckets. But you can also, uh, put the water into your tank from the sink so that you don't have to carry those buckets. So those kind of siphons are good, but if you have a smaller tank, or you just don't, you know, have the right sink set up. The Top Fin or Aquion or any other type. I think Python even sells the type that I have. Um, any of those kinds that are just, you know, the ones that drain out into a bucket and you just push the little pump handle to get everything to work are great. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I know that it was probably long and full of some information, but I'm going to put the basics of nitrogen cycles and water changes down in the down bar if you guys ever need to come back and reference this video. That way it's all right there for you guys. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section below, and I will definitely make sure that I answer any questions you guys have. Um, also, if you guys like my videos, please thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more because I am having a whole lot of fun making these videos for you guys, so I'm hoping you guys are enjoying them as well. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!